Hello, I'm Greg Molinaro, Packaging Food and Beverage Industry Manager for North and South America with Balif. And I'd like to talk a little bit today about Controls Architecture. And we have here a Balif display that shows all the variety of different devices for helping with Controls Architecture and interfacing and integrating with Controls Architecture. In particular, I'd like to talk about IO-Link and the, the variety of IO-Link devices and connectivity and networking devices. And you can see on the top here uh, a 16-port master block that is a Profinet connection, uh, an 8-port master block, and a 4-port master block. Um, one of the things that is uh, unique to Balif is the wide variety of network connectivity, whether it's Profi, Ethernet IP, CC Link, um, all the major networks we have an ability to connect with. And we have a number of vari a variety of different uh, hubs, whether that's uh, an analog hub where we can connect analog devices, or we have a way of interfacing, we call it a hobbit, a way of interfacing an individual analog device into the master block, whether it's a safety hub where we can connect safety devices, or a variety of different um, IP rated um, d discrete I.O. hubs. Um, we also have a number of different uh, IP ratings for devices, uh, master blocks and hubs, as I mentioned. Uh, in this case, IP69 stainless steel for the, the I.O. hub, but we also have IP69 rated master blocks. And then also we have the, the smaller connection, the M8 connection for the discrete um, hub here. This is a 16 port hub and then a small, uh, smaller four port hub. We also have an IP20 uh, terminal block. So if you have standard devices that are in the field and need to be wired, we can wire these into the master block here and then have an IO link connection back to a, a hub or to the master block itself. The other thing to keep in mind that's really uh, a really adva great advancement with IO-Link is the ability to connect a wide variety of devices, including things such as solenoid valves. And we have an ability to take the standard 25-pin uh, connection, and we have a, the uh, adapter cable here that can then go directly to the uh, port on the master block. And we also have um, a smaller uh, eight port hub here for discrete inputs and outputs. We have a smart power supply that can connect directly to IO Link and also a number of different measurement devices for distance, for position, um, and also as you can see here our smart lights. All of the devices that you see on the wall here are able to be connected directly into IO Link including um, analog distance position, RFID readers, and vision. And we also have um, photoelectrics, ultrasonic, distance, and pressure sensing devices. Now, one of the advantages to uh, IO-Link is that it has three different kinds of data that can be communicated. Your standard process or control data, it also has the ability to send configuration data, so if you need to change the parameters of the device for, say, distance or for pressure, and you need to read something different or you want it to uh, recognize a different set point, we can send that parameter change directly to the device through IO-Link without interrupting the control or the bandwidth of the network, and also diagnostic data and being able to read back condition monitoring or other values in fact, uh, one of the things I'd like to show here is we have a, a tablet, like an iPad, that's connected uh, wirelessly through the network system. This is all connected to the, the IO-Link network, and we're showing the readings of all the different values of the devices that are on the board. Um, one of the devices that we're showing here is, is called a light array, and this is a distance sensor. And you can see that the value, the top value here, is changing based on my adjusting or, or um, I'm putting my hand in the, in the reader and it's, it's adjusting its values. Um, down here we have 
the, uh, the pressure sensor here. I'm adjusting the pressure sensor on the wall and you can see the value of the, the reading is changing. So just wanted to give a, a show here to indicate how you can get real-time readings and values back from the devices connected through IO-Link and the, the complete solution from Ballot for IO-Link master blocks, hubs, and devices.